So, you are very close to getting the Rune of Negation. Charge bonus. Meh. Yes, you did replace something previously. What? Master Rune of Grogni, probably. So then it's just Myrmidons here. And I will have sacked every single province there, with the exception actually, of whatever it was they held up here. Wissenberg. Andy G, thank you very much for the follow. Hey Dravy, how are the little light war <laughs> little light warriors? Uh, they're doing well. Like this big blue blob here, that's now us. We have grown somewhat. And we can still confederate three people, including Karakadrin, which is all of this. And that would bring us into direct confrontation with the uh, with Chaos. So I'd like to have the war against the vampires cleared up. So we destroy the last of the vampires. Empire moves into the former uh, vampire territories. We get the border princes vassalized, so we have that border secure. And then we can push everything to the north to deal with Chaos. That's the plan, anyway. First for war. You are almost home. Beards in belts. For the wisdom of the land. You're on the way to Aberheim. Forwards. Off you go. Time for a reckoning. Fanro, you are on your way north now, because I'm replacing you with the other. Beards in General. belts! Wade Benedict, you are staying where you are. Thorgrim Grudge Bearer. You're going to go and assist in Averheim as well, though I'm not 100% sure that you'll be needed. March! Vasco Dragonslayer, you are making your way north. Let us be about this. Lars Man, you are the new garrison. Ooh, I can get a lot of troops here. These are all local. Bloody hell. Alright, first things first, let's get rid of some of these. Way too many ballistas, don't need that many. For the wisdom of Valea. I think I'm gonna take just the one. Onward. I'll take Aye, two slayers. Will be settled. We'll take another Thunderer. Another Quarreler. Then probably next turn we'll take some cannons, and then we'll fill out with longbeards or warriors, depending on what this place can produce. Sweet! Onward! Right, Kaj, you need to go and find... Oh, you can go and try and assassinate him again. I'll test this weapon off! Come on, guys! Anad? I'll surround the enemy in dark rooms. Poznik. You're on your way this way. Using guild roots. Nimmon. Ah, you're in position. You can actually go and fight them. You have a 24% chance of wounding them, and a 9% chance of assassinating them. They will die by my axe! Finally! Success! Oh, he wounded him. But he leveled up too. Well done, Nimanda. You can get another patrol ambusher. Or authoritarian. Actually, having gained one or two additional provinces lately. Actually, let's make this in. What's so far? So far, so far. Duh. Can I recruit any more heroes? 
not here. It's all right, there is. Still can't, still can't. I can't get any engineers whatsoever. Annoying! I really need to get some more of those buildings up and running. I, I totally could do that in the southern Badlands. No, there was a place where I was trying to get the arsenal. Where was that? Is it here? No, I don't think so. I don't think it was the Southern Badlands. I don't think it was the Silver Road. I have so many different provinces now, I have no idea what's happening where. Oh, I did have some marble now. Interesting. It's not you. It's not you. It's not you. It's not you. So what's different here? Oh, you have the port. Not you. Not you. Not you. It's you. No, this is a new one. It's not you either, so you just... hang on. So I do have capacity for one engineer. Wasn't you, wasn't you. It was Zufbar, because you do have the arsenal. So what I need to do here is get the arsenal built and then deconstruct the sparring chamber so that I can get the armory and or hall of oaths and or siege workshop. Which means Oakenhammer needs to upgrade. Because I'm building the Slayer Shrine over there. Right, I remember now. Baby. Right, that'll do. Turn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I'll spend chaos. Hopefully. Ooh. You have ridden forth to meet us in battle, have you? Vladkvan Karstein dares go up against the Vampire Slayer. Your funeral, mate. And I suspect this is underground. Mm -hmm. Be nice to have a few more cannon arranged. This is true. Alright, let's see if I can get all the way across. By let's see, I mean go all the way across. For the ancestors! Dwarf warriors! Kill them! And they're attacking us, so they have to attack. Yes. Oh, I need to be careful with Owen. He's not looking too healthy. All right, bring it. 
We got actual cannon this time. This is the first time that I'm wielding just cannon. There are a couple of units here that I definitely want to kill. But they have not come with any flying units, which is very nice of them. Ready, fire. Nice. These guys are more scattered, so they probably are a worse target than firing the Brave Guard, who are standing very nice and close together, aren't they? Um, I think I want to move you here. We're just going to let them get close and shoot them. Cavalry is splitting to the go to the sides. And you're just riding in front of my quarrelers. If that's what takes your fancy, who am I to say no? Move now! Go on, Owen. You got this, buddy. It's an order. And I would like you to have no weapon damage and massively reduce melee attack. Thank you. Right, you have a potion of healing. You got just. You haven't really lost any hit points, which is why I'm kind of wondering if this is actually going to work. I don't think it is, because you started the battle with the negative. Worth a try. Alright, you two need to. Because we're now fully engaged. Dwarf warriors! Warriors! Bow through! He did get his health back. Oh no, those are quarrelers. No, he did. Because he was down to like here, wasn't he? Is that a heal over time? Banishes hit points of combatants on self. Duration 40 seconds. Duration 40 seconds, so yeah, it is a heal over time. Okay. Ready to strike! Bring out the axe! Vengeance! It is a reckoning! Will do! Kazook! We're being flat! Fight! They are Brundus! Dwarf warriors! Pull out! It is a reckoning! Do we attack? Just go ahead and finish. It's just a matter of time. Although you are struggling.
Vlad from Karstein there doing quite a lot of damage as an armoured spellcaster melee expert. I think we lost that unit. Alright, now he's starting to die. What DLCs, if any, would I suggest you purchase? Most seem to be faction based. So if I was to re download the game, players either the Empire of Dwarves, any DLCs required to play as those two? No. I don't think you need the DLCs unless you actually want to play as them. All the, all the factions are there in the game, I believe. You just need the DLC to actually play. Yeah, some of the Black Knights, 51 kills. We did lose one, possibly even two more high-level units of Dwarf Warriors, which is annoying. Nope, they survived. Even he survived, somehow. Ooh, armor. Shield of Ptolos. And you leveled up. Oh, and Weldon's kicking ass. Uh, no. I definitely need you doing casualty replenishment. Ostermark wants a defensive alliance. Thank you. Oh, the number of times I've killed him means he's been leveling. Being trying to kill that guy means he's been leveling up. So now he's got a freaking horse. Dude, not fair. Can you feel it? From the north it comes. The tendrils of chaos spread south, tainting the lands. And with it, the warriors of chaos march we must ready ourselves, for war is coming. But who has brought the warring tribes together? What manner of champion holds that power? It's a dwarf. It's got massive horns on its helmet, it's clearly a dwarf. Oblivion has come, my lord. Archeon, the ever-chosen lord of the end times, has re-entered the world. With him marches a chaos host numberless in size. Prepare yourself for the coming apocalypse. The old world despairs, for Archeon, the ever-chosen champion of chaos, has come, and with him, the end times. Once a Templar priest of Sigma, Acheron uncovered a terrible secret which drove him to reject his faith and pledge himself to the gods of chaos. In their service, he has devoted himself to the world's destruction, defeating all challenges and rising to a position of dominance over all of the chaos wastes, achieving the ultimate accolade, his dark coronation as the Everchosen, the vessel through which the dark gods unite their followers to turn the world into a realm of chaos. It is to his banner that the warriors of chaos have been flocking, and it is his malign will that now drives them forth in a terrible wave of destruction, destined to sweep all before it. The earth groans beneath the iron shod of a the iron shod feet of Acheron's numberless horde, and with him becomes and with him comes death. Is there any champion in the old world mighty enough to withstand the Lord of the End Times? The guy who's just united basically all the dwarves? Just a guess. Stolen from the enemy, Shield of Tolos. First discovered in the far south by Tomb Raiders, the Shield of Tolos grants the wielder a great defensive boon against missile attacks. And enemy agents are really beginning to get irritating. For some reason, this didn't appear. The Engineer's Guild is in uproar. Uh, no, we've read this before. 
We need to get gyrocopters, gyrocopters, guy out. We need helicopters. And your one was to get a thing to the giant horn in the mountains. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I, I do know that. Owen! My axe thirsts for war! You are a warrior. So I think I'm going to give you the scarred veteran. points. Right, do I feel like you have the capacity Time to take for the reckoning. that yourself? Right now, probably not. Retake the realms. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have you sitting here Encamped for a turn, for the and then next turn we'll have you attacking. Oh, but you could move up to 50%. Very well. Which you can easily do too. Here. We march! Aye. Which will replenish some of your troops. That's the main reason I did it. It is time! Alright, Quirty Death, what are you doing? An army but has just appeared in Zavara. No! Which I would really quite like to go in... Smashy Smash. Are you ready to pledge yourself to me? Your man-gods and dubious masters have no place here. Yeah, you are. And that is all I wanted. Now you, you come trade bearing arms. Is it war? No. I just want a trade deal. And I would even offer some money to sweeten the deal, though I don't have that much. We'll make up and you'll love me again. Yeah, the military actions and the hero actions will decrease and the other stuff will probably stay where it is. Treaties are enacted, total attitude value is hugely improving. We'll have that peace deal soon enough. All right, good. I am pleased with that. That's my border now secure. Armed and ready. And I have basically constant access through it. So what I wanted to try and do now is try and grab Migdal Vorgelbrach, because I think that's one I can settle. How do I tell if it was human or not? Considering this is Krakhern and Karakazengar, I think I'm okay. Yeah, I know it's any mountain place, but how do I know that this is a mountain place? Except through, um, association. Right, Eastern Badlands. You can, I think, start paying taxes. Yeah, you can. Repeaks, you still freaking hate me. Zulfbar is also hating me. For a couple more turns, that will actually turn around. Western Badlands. Yeah, you can pay taxes. I'll build a... ...factory here. That should solve that problem. Who peaks though? This is... this is... This is irritating. <laughs> Why is your public order so consistently bad? Even when you're not paying taxes. You even have a Slayer's Shrine. And Chaos Corruption is still growing. Has that gone up to two? Oh. 
That's annoying. Right, Fenris, yes, what are you up to? For war. In fact, I can start moving my forces north now. Once I've recruited whatever it is that I want to recruit. I have a lot of settlements. <laughs> Ooh, chaos is arriving from my south coast. Empire and Tablet Clan have finally confederated. We have superior black power. The clans constantly order in black powder and make demands for better quality. Deadlier batches as well. Was that really right down here in the very, very tip of the world? It was. Yawnlings. Eric Swordson. No! You sound suspiciously Norskan. So they... Yeah, they must exist, you just, just can't play as them. Right, where's my boss man? Oh, you are still recruiting. That is... That is unfortunate. Oh, this is Vasco. This isn't even the same guy. That is fine. Vasco has forces to fight with. So it's actually a pretty good thing that I have two armies down here. In fact, I have three of them. There's an army right here. Which I can just turn around with. And it's you. Here we go. Uh, it was cannon that I was after, wasn't it? As the High King commands. Two of those. And then frontline troops. And yes, you can get long bills. Cool. Last man's army is going to be very good. Where is this? Karak Eight Peaks apparently has loads and loads of army buildings. Good to know. Wade's long. still holding out. Thorgrim yes! is moving towards Aberheim. Battle initiation disabled. Very well. We have to make the uh, the end of this move like this. Got then. What? You. By the grudge bearer's will. Aberheim is a walled city, walled city, but we have sufficient firepower here. In fact, with the cannons, we definitely do to attack. This is leadership, which goes to you. This is weapon damage, which will go to you. Does that increase missile damage? Looks like it. Missile damage is currently 25. If I clear that, still 25. So no, this needs to go to a melee unit, so it's probably going to have to be you. And then the fiery fire can go to you. I really need to recruit some better troops here. And those are handed out, and I think we can just go ahead and attack. Right, this is again going to be a sitting outside the walls shooting at you, battle. 